Gold silver. Okay, so gold silver are an interesting uh, group of guys. It's a guy called Phil and Nick. Uh, they're based out of uh, London, uh, London and Dubai, and they only do commodities. And they concentrate on uh, only a couple of commodities: gold, silver, copper, platinum, palladium, oil, natural gas. And then they do some softs. They do corn, wheat, and sugar. Um, sorry. So they concentrate on nine different commodities, and they are fairly short-term traders. And they uh, they look at trading commodities uh, on an intraday and short-term basis. Well, not necessarily intraday, but intraday or every couple of days. And they probably come up with about three or four different trading ideas on commodities every week. What's kind of interesting about these guys, every Thursday we have a webinar with them. Clients can uh, join the webinar for 20 minutes and they can show you the setups, and they can show you how they think. And here you, you've got guys who are, are rated as one of the top commodity traders in the world, um, or commodity educators and analysts in the world, and they are uh, willing to share their information with you. Nick, Nick and Phil, uh, as I say, gold, silver, um, this is the sort of setups they do. Commodities doesn't appeal to everyone. It appeals to me. I love trading gold and, and, and copper and silver especially silver. Silver moves around all over the place. Um, this is a corn trade. So this was actually sent out this morning, I think, Greg. Um, so this is a trade that they dropped, but if you were following the automated system, you would have traded this. As that trade, as it hits there, does what they, they, they say it's going to do, they're in the trade and so are you. And as I say, we're trading about nine different commodities with them, and we're trading them currently in dollars, but we will be trading them in rands as well. Uh, we're going to look at modifying this for RAND-based instruments on our own exchange. So, as I say, that's uh, gold, silver. This newsletter is also available for us if, uh, from us. If you want to just send us a mail, we can, we can add you onto, onto that database. Okay, the other one that clearly is very ubiquitous around the world is Forex trading. It's massive. I mean, it is the biggest, most liquid market in the world, so it's where the most people trade. So, this is a local guy. This is, um, what's his name? Glenn. Glenn, Glenn from Practical Pips, he's a very nice guy, built this, uh, he's just up the road, he, uh, he built this uh, little FX engine of his, and his goal is, as he calls it, his 500 pip challenge, he tries to make 500 pips on FX every month, is that right, Greg? And, and there's his little barometer, and that's all he tries to do, he doesn't trade very often, trades maybe once or twice a week, Greg, on FX, he's not a massively active trader, but he's just trying to get a lot of consistency and, and, and trying to make accretive profits every month. So that's the sort of stuff we're doing. This doesn't particularly lend itself to Yieldex, to our own currency futures. It just doesn't work that well for currency futures. So we tend to do these sort of ones in the offshore forex environment. And once again, you can do that in RANDs uh, through one of the RAND providers, or you can do it in go offshore into US dollars uh, and, and trade to guys like INFX, Saxo, these sort of providers. So another, another FX one, this is a, 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 an FX trading robot that we've been uh, working with a guy called Miles. Uh, he's a computer programmer and he's built an FX robot. And this thing automatically trades. And, you know, the thing about black box is the problem when it goes wrong, you don't know why it's broken, you know. So robots are great. They will sit there and trade for you. But you've got to have a level of confidence that the guy who built it knows what he's doing. And that robot's not going to just go off the rails. So um, the one good thing about this is that's a payoff profile that I think anybody would want. It just makes nice little accretive profits. It does small little trades. And the one thing that you always want from a system like this, you clearly you want it to be profitable. You want a level of transparency that you want to know what's happening on that trading robot, how it's coming up with its trades. And this, as I said, this is this um, FX Blue. This is a free system that you can download or actually just log on on the web and you can monitor your account. And you can see it's got massive amounts of metrics on, on what is happening with your account. And then the other thing you want from a robot is you want some consistency. You don't want massive drawdowns and then massive wins. You just want it to sit and, and chug away. So that is an FX robot that we do put some of our clients into who trade FX. So... Those are a couple of where our head is at in terms of social trading. So we are doing individual stocks. We're doing indices. Oh, uh, sorry, there's a couple more that we're working on at the moment that uh, Stephen will kill me if I don't mention. So we are doing 
uh, an offshore, uh, a sort of global profit hunter type strategy where we're going to go and pick stocks and indices offshore. And that's going to be run by Gary Boyson, um, who's on our trading desk. Now, if you ever watch CNBC, you'll see Gary because he loves TV. He's on uh, share shootout all the time. In fact, he's winning share shootout, I think, at the moment still. So, you know, he's a hog for TV. But you know what? He's a very good analyst. And he's going to run, you know, there's a couple of offshore trades that he's picked that are very nice. Um, so, that, you know, and they're interesting things. It's like trading in Starbucks and, you know. The, uh, yeah, we've got, um, what's the social networking thing that's launching tomorrow? Alibaba, you know, you know whether you want to go and jump into that, I don't know, but the, the exchange traded fund that has Alibaba and Facebook and all of these sort of things in it, maybe that's worth having a look at a punt on, on, the, on the social network ETN. You know, I did mention it previously and I, and I think it's moved up quite, quite nicely since then. So, as an incentive to try get you guys to all do social trading, what we've decided with the Global Profit Hunter or the Global Trading Product is that anybody who opens up an account with us and funds it and follows one of our guys in the next three months, we will take one person to New York and we will go onto the floor because I've never been onto the floor at New York in New York. So we would like to take someone to the New York Stock Exchange and go on the floor and you know that's we're going to give away that prize towards the end of the year. And anybody who into, opens an account with us and funds it and starts following one of our guys, you're in, you're in the running. If you don't, well, you're not coming with us. So I'm going anyway. So whether you're there or not.